Hey guys, what's up? My name is Perez and welcome to the second mission of Black Ops 3. We have reached rank 2. I believe we have reached rank 3 too. Also, so that's good. We unlocked a cup. We got we got we got collectibles, we got an earpiece and we got a fucking water bottle. But uh, anyways, let's jump into mission 2. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're going to be fine. That's smart of them. Achieved our objectives. The man's always going to be better than machine. But unfortunately, you sustained life threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor? Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Oh. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What's happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Interesting. This game has been fun so far. Oh, simulation. Oh, shit. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, 
Let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. Work the floor with these assholes. Oh, this gun. I like this gun. I think the silenced guns actually sound better. Oh, that's cool. It tells you where they are. I'm meters away from them. getting used to but your confidence right. will soon grow try it for yourself i got a hundred says you can do it not bad newbie not bad Back move will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades you see flashing red That was a cool kill I just did. See the red and yellow markers? They represent kill zones. Not somewhere you want to be. Reinforcements at the truck. Okay, the pistol's not that good. Alright, so what's in here? I died. <laughs> I died. Shot him in the head. There's gotta be another way to go around. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. It's actually a pretty cool training. Training course. If you guys never played any Call of Duty games or anything like that, this is actually uh, pretty good. I missed the wall run. DNI doesn't just help us. All right. Each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems. Including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, five pads, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier. 
Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead, hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Oh, is there any more of those things? Oh, another achievement. Foe to friend. God damn it. Hmm. <laughs> Little tiny robot, sword and stone. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Don't know why I'm singing a nursery rhyme, but that's just the way I'm doing it all the time. I'm going to smell big. Oh, yes. Shot that guy in the face. And shoot that guy in the face. Is there anybody else here? There she is. Blow that generator so we can get inside. All right. Boom. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator is probably your drop. Come on, let's go. Ah. They did them all. Damn it. I wanted to fly the drone some more. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Yes, that's true. Oh, this is a bag of flour. I thought it was intel. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote attack on those turrets. Was dead. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your hut.
Oh, yes. Oh, I can exit. Sweet. Boom. Boom. All right. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Oh, shit. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. Like I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts. I lived it all over again. What's happening to me? Shh. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. D&I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. The shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. What happens now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. We had a man on the at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those mm. robots. So, what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. My screen is fucking bright. Holy crap, that's bright. <sighs> Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome, train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. I love you could take different routes now in like the, the campaign. You don't have to go one route. You could take. You could actually take multiple. Oh, I jumped off. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train.
I like how you, I like you magnetize like towards like on the wall. That's yeah, actually move. All right, activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. Nice going, new blood. Nice go. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye. Yeah, I know already. I feel like this mission you just run through it. Take them down. Don't lose them now, newbie. Good night, sweetheart. You got potential. Grab him, new blood. Now's your chance. Take him down. Boom. Oh shit. Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. I think he's wearing Adidas. I'm sensing a butt <laughs> coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. You said it yourself. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnels to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. All right, so that was actually pretty fun. Uh, I guess that takes you through the the different stuff that you could do through the campaign. It's kind of like training, but it's not really training. Looks like we're doing some more training. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, specialist Peter Moretti. He's going to help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. Remember, <clears throat> we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over, you owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with D&I... Your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. You got a new cyber ability to play with. Immolation. Give it a spin on those enemies ahead. You immolated the shit out of them. Ah, oh, that's new. I haven't seen that in the beta.
Nice work. Ah, oh, that's cool. He killed him with the fucking ice. That is cool. The fireflies, that's cool. That's killing them. Oh, it's eating them slowly, too. The fireflies are eating the guys slowly. Oh, that's even more painful. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. The more abilities you have, the more fun you can have. Try switching the <laughs> Mobility armory. Okay, here you can change the uh, your actual gun. We're gonna keep our gun. We like our gun. We're gonna get some ammo though. I already gotta go. Oh yeah, hack. Just touch it. Boom. Hacked. They're using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or smoke. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's left. I like that ability. I like all the abilities, actually. They're actually pretty cool. They actually introduced abilities into this game. Actually, pretty cool. Actually, pretty good, too. It's not it's not overwhelming as, like, in Advanced Warfare. In Advanced Warfare, the advanced suit was overwhelming for me. I don't know. I wasn't really used to it. But after playing Black Ops and playing online and all that stuff, it actually feels pretty normal um, for the abilities, actually. Um, so it actually feels pretty normal for me. Actually feels pretty normal for me, so this actually feels pretty normal. Not like full on normal, but just, just pretty normal. How, what? Do I keep on getting sniped or something? Alright. Yes, you will. Oh, the fireflies even kill. Did he kill the robots? Oh, that's cool. The flash actually makes him, like, stop moving.
All right, let's see if we can run up this wall. Oh, we can. We did it. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me. On you. I'm gonna switch to the swarm because I feel like there's gonna be humans. You may be a badass, but you're not immortal. Bullet to the head, I'll still get you a date with your maker. All right, there's dramatic music playing, so this has got to be like the last. This has got to be like the last one. The last hoorah for this mission, I guess. All right. Good hunting. Interface with that door for me. Interface. Hacking. So this mission is running a lot longer than the last one, the first one. So, um, yeah. So this is probably going to be kind of hard to upload, but I will get this uploaded. So don't worry about that. Just looking for intel. Looking for intel. Boom. Hmm. It's the robots. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. Hmm. So that's how they got the explosives on the train. Pretty interesting. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me. Consider you as much. Take down as another one of your cyber ability. Try it out on those bots. Watch your flank. They're coming through the window. Nice take down. Right on the butt. Oh, that is sick. This may be a sim, but check your fire. No need to injure sieves unless we have to. That is cool. I like that ability. Oh, they gotta get an achievement for that? Oh, I have to jump up there? Oh, damn it. I was supposed to use something there. Oh, okay. It's a okay. I get it. Plus the switch abilities. Plus the switch abilities there. Hostiles at once. 
That is cool. The neural network prototype is in the car right below you. It may be shielded by six inches of CNT, but that won't mean anything when the bomb goes off. You better pick up the base. Keep pushing up. You've almost located the explosive. Boom. God damn it. Okay. Boom. We're about to change history. The whole thing's booby trapped. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much. Even with a computer in my head, there's no time. It's actually very simple. Right. This is a maglev train. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... There was no way to stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes... You have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Oh, okay. So I guess that's going to be the end of the mission. Um, hopefully it is, because it's running over 40 minutes for that one. The prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. I'm going to have to split this part up, actually. So I do split this part up. Uh, welcome to the third part. Um, I might split these up in 20 minutes. So this is probably the fourth part around there. I don't know. But we'll see. I don't know how fully I'm going to, how I'm actually going to edit this. Um, but uh, hopefully it goes well. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. All right, so that was the end of the mission. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed part two or episode two or mission two. I guess that was a mission, the whole mission. That's all. That's a lot. Um, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see mission three, all you have to do is just wait till tomorrow, Sunday. There'll be uh, mission three and mission four will be going up on Sunday. And then I'm going to split it up during the week. So, but anyways... I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this mission. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. If you guys want to see some more Black Ops 3 content. And I am Prez. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.